welcome. Thank you all so much for coming. Um, this is uh, called Impromptu Sense of Logic. Um, and we're going to do some short form improv for you. So what that means is everything you see is going to be made up on the spot based off of your suggestions. Um, that means we'll be getting suggestions from you throughout the night. So just to warm you guys up, um, can everyone please yell at me uh, your favorite color? Green! Oh, yellow! Yes. Um, yell at me um, something you want for Christmas or something you got for Hanukkah. Physics! A book! An apple core! Um, and then um, the subject of the final you're dreading the most. Yeah. Fuck that class, get drunk instead of studying. Um, so, um, oh yes, absolutely. Um, you can catch our shows, we have them um, throughout the year, and we do one every Wednesday on the South 40, um, Hump Day with Carl. Also, a new exciting venture for us, um, we are now on Who TV. Um, so you'll notice the camera in the back here is recording the show, so if you do anything really inappropriate in the audience or something, it'll be on Who TV. Uh, so definitely do it. Um, yeah, so make sure to check us out there. Um, together we're called Improv, but individually, I'm Corey. Yeah, me. Megan. Connor. Randy. Stephanie. Jed. Will. Michael. Karen. And together, we are Carl. <laughs> Alright, and our first game is called by Miss Megan Kenny. Tonight we're going to start with a game called Buzzer. In this game, Stephanie and Randy are going to be performing a scene, but if they do something I don't like, I'm going to make this noise. And they're going to have to do something completely different. Like Randy, what's your name? Randy. And Randall. And Mr. Rockman. Good, that's better. That's my name. So to get this scene started, I need a suggestion of a place you wouldn't want to find your grandmother. A volcano. I don't believe volcanoes. <laughs> Inappropriate place for grandmothers. This is Buzzer with Volcano. We've almost reached the summit. Our excavation will be complete once we can dig into the lava core of the volcano. Good thing I've tied myself to you so I don't have to climb. And good thing we're conjoined twins, so you have the hands and you do all the work. <laughs> Been like this ever since we were born. Ever since we were born. I don't even need to remind you, really. Jim does the work, and Josephine just gets all of the rewards. When we publish our findings, it's Josephine McClutchinson that gets the publisher's credit, <laughs> never Jim McClutchinson. Well, that would be silly. Only one of our names can fit on the form. <laughs> well, Josephine, we've reached the top. And I think only one of our bodies can fit on this volcano. <laughs> I will throw you in! Oh. I will separate and throw you in! Wait. It will be me! I'm worthless without you! <laughs> it, we will squeeze closer together to fit on top of this volcano. Such a deep player, brother! I would hate if either of us were to die. That would be truly awful. I love you like I love parts of myself, sister. <laughs> in the past. 